Hello Stampers! Today I wanted to let you know what it's like to put together your stamp set when you choose to purchase a cling stamp set from Stampin' Up! I'm going to use the Celebrate Sunflower set to demonstrate. So when you get your stamp set, it does come in a case, all sealed for easy storage. When you open it up, it does have the instructions on one side on how to assemble your stamp set. It has the image sheet and then as well as the rubber stamps. So I'm just going to take these out of the box, move the box over to the side and show you that there's this side where you can kind of see the image but when you turn it over you'll see the side that has the peels, the breakaways in which to peel the sticker sheet. So these, this is the sticker sheet that's going to cling to your actual image but then allow it to cling to the acrylic block. So I'm going to just peel all of them at once because I'd like to actually get them all done. I'm sure if you browse the internet you'll find some quick and easy ways to do this. I know there's some ladies out there that'll put all the images on at one time. I have tried that multiple times and I've yet to kind of get that perfect placement so I do like to individually place mine onto each of the stickers. So again just peeling off. It's nice that Stampin' Up! has did a little slit like they're cut in the center to make it easy to bend and peel. And as you peel those stickers the images stays on the sheet like so. So now what I'm going to do is punch out the stamp so they're all perforated in there for easy out and I'm going to just peel. So on the back of these there is another peel away section just to kind of protect that foam and now the trick is to try and align the stamp image to the image you have the best you can. And now the cutouts all seem to be there and helpful. Look at that, just like that I think I found it. Matching the image below to the image and then I'm just lining it up to the cutout. Oh. The cutout like so. And then once I have it pressed, adhered the way I like it, then you just peel and it comes out onto the back of your image. And now it's all a little bit sticky for you to place inside your case. I'm just going to get rid of all those sticky things and now I'm just going to place it in here. So I actually, what I like to do, so I'm going to punch, pick out all my pieces. This stamp set, the pieces are somewhat big, so I'm able to punch them all out without fear of losing them. I know some of us have cats that like to jump up on tables and bat things around so if there was tinier pieces you may not kind of want to take them all out but I do because I want this piece to stick back on the inside of my case. I do this so that I know I have all the images back in my case. So because I do host classes and I tend to kind of pull multiple stamps out at once, I do get a little frenzy with stamps laying around so I'll know when I pick up the case which one doesn't exist but of course trying to put this big one back in the case I'm having difficulties so I'm just gonna stop there and I'll finish that a little bit later so again in case you missed it you just peel and then line it up onto the stamped image just like that perfect and so again sometimes what I'll do is I'll just do them all first and then I'll peel them off Again, that way I know that I've captured all of them. I'm not missing any in case one brushed onto the floor. Peel stick. Let's celebrate you. Super cute. Oh, but this one isn't that. This one is thanks a bunch. And that's why it doesn't fit. Like that. Peel and stick. Let's celebrate. celebrate you is what it says and then we've got some dual leaves in this set I can't wait to start crafting with it perhaps that'll be a challenge for me is to make some cards to showcase as well 
but here we've got the last one on it really takes no time at all it's all about setting up that system that works for you in fact many of the times I find myself taking this on the bus to put together only because um, what else am I gonna do I could read a book but I could also just listen to music and put together my stamp set so that they're all together anyways and so as you can see I'm just kind of putting them back in just to know that I have them all accounted for. Now I hope that you found this little tip helpful. Um, I know sometimes when we get our very first stamp set it could be a little intimidating, kind of not knowing how to place it all together. Um, but again, you've got this video now to reference you for help. Thank you and happy stamping.